Hello, so last night I woke up uh, around 4 a.m. and um, I figured just open my phone and look on Marktplatz and I looked on it and I found a kitchen and I texted them I want to come pick up your kitchen tomorrow or today is that okay and uh, let me know where I have to be what time and I just picked up my kitchen for my van so awesome hello and welcome I am Kim and together with my three dogs Durak, Bobby and Pilu I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. The first thing I did was take the plastic wrap off of the drawer fronts and paint them with a base coat and then a top coat in this nice green color. I adjusted the cabinets by taking off 5 cm from the back. I'm currently outside with my dogs and uh, we are going to shop for countertop and a sink and then hopefully I can install my kitchen so I'm in Ikea which is kind of unique because I'm the first person here so it's empty Ikea is never empty <laughs> so weird <laughs> so I'm super happy I found this in the Ikea half off and I saw it online, thought it was a bit expensive, but then I saw it half off and I thought, yes, you're coming with me. I got this one to go with it. Findig. Yeah, so I'm super excited to install these and then all I need is a faucet. Uh, which I'm planning on making out of copper pipes. And then we'll be all set. Oh my god, I'm so excited, look how gorgeous this is. I just can't get over how gorgeous it is, I'm almost sad to cut a hole in it to fit this because <laughs> it's so pretty oh my god this is gonna be amazing the countertop was too long for the width of my van so I adjusted the size I put protective paper on the side of the countertop that is going to stay because the metal of the jigsaw can cause scratches. It's important to protect it from this. Look, it fits great. Now what I need is to chop a piece off so that it will go further back because this is too much. So this is way too much. So what I'm gonna do is measure up to about here, I think. So I'm going to measure, cut it off. It's gonna be about three and a half centimeters that I'm gonna take off. This is what it's looking like. So that's better, you see? It's super pretty. So now I'm going to figure out where to put the sink and measure and cut it out. Comment down below if you have 
If you have a hard time deciding which color do I want on the walls, which color do I want on the ceiling, which color do I want on the floor, what do I want here, how am I going to place things? So if you're going to do this, make sure you have tape without any paper on it. It's just big enough, wide enough. What's it called? I didn't have it. I'm too lazy to go get it. It'll probably work in the end, but way easier if it's just a tape. Second, I thought it was too big. <laughs> right. I put a layer of silicone adhesive to protect the cut that I made in the countertop. This countertop is made from some sort of pressed wood and because I cut a hole in the protective outside layer, I have to use silicone adhesive to protect it from water coming in and expanding. Because I want to attach the uh, countertops onto this little wall, I'm going to drill a hole, some holes behind there so I can attach it. So I'm going to drill from this side. 
so I can attach from that side so I know what height I'm going to be. So I checked and I could move the chair forward. This bench is stuck here so I cannot screw here which is kind of sucky but it's okay. So I took out this shape and the countertop should fit right now. If it doesn't, I'll deal with it later. <laughs>
still have to install the faucet. I have a foot pump that I'm going to use. I want to make some tree type thing here with shelves, the same as I have with my bedside table. I'll come back to it in uh, future videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you could give this video a like, that would help me out tremendously. If you like my videos, you wanna follow me, please hit the subscribe button so you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I put the ceiling in. In the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new Avengers.